talking about home entertainment. I'm Annie Allen with Group 13 and you are watching Home Entertainment DVDs and Blu-rays in North America. I'm sure we all remember the first time our parents or we ourselves brought home our first DVD player. No rewinding and a main menu option? It was the best. But let's start at the beginning. In 1997, the official launch of the DVD player happened. It was a huge step up from the VHS player and changed home entertainment and our family movie nights for good. An amazing new world of entertainment is coming your way on DVD. See the future. And DVDs did really well in the beginning. By 2002, in an average week, 50 million Americans, that's more than twice the weekly theater audience, went to a video store to rent a DVD. They spent around 24 billion, which is, was about four times what was spent on movie tickets. Remember video stores like Blockbuster? Get more entertainment for less at Blockbuster. Right now, rent any three movies or any two games for only $9.99. But the person who really got DVDs started was Time Warner, Warren Lieberfarb. He convinced the heads of home entertainment divisions at all major studios to demand a single format for DVDs, which avoided the problems that were being had with VHS and Betamax. In 1995, Sony and Toshiba agreed on a single format for digital versatile discs. The start of DVD really was the end of VHS. DVD was bringing in 5.7 billion, where VHS was only bringing in 4.1 billion. VHS rental sales took a big hit, going from 5.4 billion dollar market going down to a 2.6 billion in sales in 2001. DVDs also had a special feature option like games, music videos, deleted scenes, directors' commentaries, and more. In 2003, Disney re-released the 1994 film The Lion King as a special edition with all of the extras DVDs could ha now have. And they sold 11 million copies and brought in 200 million in new revenue. Talk about making something from nothing. ...into video and for the first time ever on Disney DVD. 2004 was definitely the best year for DVD sales and remained stable bringing in 18 billion the following year. Not bad for a product less than 10 years old. And in 2006, the launch of Blu-ray happened. Maximum picture resolution. Theater quality sound. More high-def content and products from brands you trust. Blu-ray disc. This improved video quality but did have a higher price. But with film technology getting better and things becoming uh, more HD, quality started to really matter to home audiences. It also allowed audience who love 3D to now enjoy that feature at home. Although Blu-ray was successful, it didn't completely take the DVD it didn't completely take the DVD audience, so the two existed together. The start of DVDs also allowed studios to release old TV series and box sets from shows such as The Sopranos as well as decade-old shows like uh, the 1996 Star Trek and the Blu-ray release of Batman. Batman, the complete TV series, limited edition Blu-ray collection. TV shows even brought shows back on the air. Family Guy was canceled for several years, but went back on the air after extremely high DVD sales. DVDs were also popular because they could be taken anywhere with the help of a portable DVD player or a laptop. It really seemed like DVDs and Blu-rays were here to stay. All until Netflix, a company that started as a DVD delivery company put its content online. From 2004 to 2011, physical disc sales declined, declined 30%. Sales were still generating 6.9 billion, but streaming was now bringing in 4 billion a year. Streaming was taking over, especially with the release of Netflix's original series. And then other companies, um, and then other online companies were quick to jump on the trend. This was original programming that audience couldn't get on DVD or Blu-ray, and more and more home entertainment and more and more home entertainment viewers went online.
It's the end of an era, Blockbuster Shutter. It's remaining stores. Well, also in the year 2014, Blockbuster closed its final store after being defeated by the online viewing systems. Now, that doesn't mean people still couldn't get DVDs or Blu-rays. They're still being sold at Walmart and other stores, as well as Redbox, but a full store can't run just on selling DVDs and making a large profit the way Blockbuster once could. No, you, you know they're still over in Walmart and at yeah. 7-Eleven. They've been they flat. 7-Eleven. Right? Yeah, sure. They're there. It's that if you can get movies now, um, rented and bought electronically, you don't have to go anywhere. Exactly. Then that's going to take over. Although Apple has stated that they are removing the CD drive from all future products, meaning that there will be no way to watch DVDs on laptops any longer. The home entertainment industry believes that people will still buy DVDs. Look at the magical extras included with this collectible Oz DVD. The Wizard of Oz 70th Anniversary Ultimate Collector's Edition DVD. For the first time ever on Blu-ray. Like vinyl records, it's believed that DVD and Blu-ray will become a niche market for collectors. It's still unsure when this trend will happen, but you might want to hold on to your DVDs. They could be worth something someday if they do end up becoming a big collector's item. Get ready for it!